It's easy to mistake the footage for a CGI masterpiece. The way the humanoid robot twists, turns, and counters like a trained martial artist almost defies belief. But what you're seeing is no computer-generated illusion. This is a real recording from Tesla's robotics lab, where the Optimus humanoid robot is taking its movement capabilities to an entirely new level. In this stunning demonstration, a real kung fu instructor pushes, strikes, and attempts to throw the robot off balance. However, Tesla Optimus remains steady, reactive, and astonishingly human-like. So what improvements made the Tesla Optimus so groundbreaking? Stick around. In the next 30 seconds, we will show you Tesla's most secret update about Tesla Optimus. But before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You will be the first to know the breaking news. The video begins with a simple scene. A kung fu master standing across from the Tesla robot, a black belt wrapped tightly around his waist. Optimus, standing at 5.6 feet tall and weighing approximately 123 pounds, mirrors the instructor's stance with uncanny precision. Then the action begins. The instructor strikes forward, fast and sudden, a move meant to test the robot's reflexes. Optimus pivots on its right foot, shifts its weight, and absorbs the push with a smooth, backward motion. No stumble, no jerky correction. Just a perfect display of balance, control, and mechanical grace. For a humanoid robot, Maintaining balance under unpredictable external forces has always been one of the hardest challenges. Most robots, even those developed by top research institutions, tend to wobble or fall when subjected to strong impacts. But Tesla Optimus demonstrates something that looks more like trained athleticism than programmed movement. This is thanks to a combination of advanced mechanical design, neural control algorithms, and Tesla's real-time AI motion prediction system powered by the company's Dojo supercomputer. Optimus's core computing brain is a variation of Tesla's full self-driving AI chip, optimized not for cars, but for the human body. The robot's neural networks were trained on millions of motion simulations, including real-world physics environments modeled through high-speed cameras and LiDAR-based motion analysis. Each push or strike that the robot experiences is interpreted within milliseconds. The sensors embedded throughout its frame, over 28 high-precision force sensors and 16 inertial measurement units, detect not just the direction and magnitude of force, but also the subtle shifts in weight distribution. Within just 10 milliseconds, the AI control system recalculates its center of gravity and adjusts muscle torque across 22 degrees of freedom. This is where the Kung Fu analogy becomes more than a gimmick. In traditional martial arts, practitioners spend years mastering the art of balance, learning to absorb force, redirect momentum, and maintain composure no matter how intense the impact. Tesla Optimus, in a matter of milliseconds, does the same thing through pure computation. When the instructor pushes its left shoulder, with a force of about 50 newtons, Optimus compensates instantly by countershifting its hip actuators by 3.2 degrees and flexing its knee joints by 4.8 degrees. The result, it stays upright, calm, and perfectly poised. But balance alone doesn't make this display extraordinary. What truly surprises the audience is the natural fluidity of the robot's movement. No harsh mechanical jerks, no awkward pauses. Every step flows into the next like a practiced Tai Chi sequence. The reason lies in Tesla's use of biological motion mapping. Each Optimus unit learns from human motion data captured through Tesla's motion lab, where dozens of high-speed infrared cameras record expert martial artists performing various techniques. These movements are translated into vector-based motion maps, which the AI uses to mimic not just the path of motion, but also the underlying muscle coordination patterns. During the demonstration, you can see Optimus shift into a defensive stance, knees bent slightly, one arm raised for balance. It's a posture you'd expect from a human fighter, not a machine. The robot then performs a reactive block when the instructor throws a mock strike. The arm movement happens in just 0.18 seconds, nearly the same speed as a trained athlete's defensive reaction. That's roughly 3.5 times faster than the human eye can fully perceive 
and a remarkable achievement for a machine operating on electromechanical servos. Inside Optimus, Tesla engineers have integrated a revolutionary set of linear actuators, each capable of generating up to 180 newton meters of torque, comparable to the strength of an average adult's limb. However, what truly sets them apart is the precision. Each actuator can modulate force output with a resolution of 0.01 newton meters, allowing micro adjustments that prevent overcorrection and ensure graceful balance recovery. Combined with a pair of 12 megapixel depth cameras and a LiDAR sensor embedded in the robot's chest, Optimus perceives motion around it with sub-millimeter accuracy, even when objects move at high speed. As the demonstration continues, the Kung Fu instructor escalates the challenge. Attempting to sweep the robot's leg, a classic move designed to topple opponents. Optimus reacts in an almost cinematic moment. One leg lifts just enough to evade the sweep, and the robot performs a counter-rotation with its torso to maintain equilibrium. The entire sequence lasts barely a second, yet it's packed with computational brilliance. Tesla's motion planner runs on a control loop operating at 1000 Hz, meaning Optimus re-evaluates its entire balance model a thousand times per second. That's how it manages to stay upright where even human trainees might stumble. What's equally astonishing is that the entire system runs on Tesla's proprietary in-house battery pack, a compact 2.3 kilowatt hour unit derived from the 4680 cell architecture. Despite powering 28 actuators, sensors, and AI computation simultaneously, the robot maintains 20 hours of continuous operation under standard conditions. For high intensity activities like this Kung Fu session, Battery consumption rises, but the system still holds steady for over 10 hours, a duration far beyond what other humanoid prototypes can sustain. Behind the scenes, Tesla engineers revealed that this demonstration wasn't just a publicity stunt. It was part of a broader research initiative exploring human-robot interaction safety and adaptive motion. By training Optimus to respond to unpredictable high-force situations like martial arts movements, Tesla is refining its AI's understanding of human dynamics, an essential step before deploying these robots into real-world environments, from manufacturing floors to elderly care. If Optimus can stand its ground against a martial artist, it can certainly handle a crowded factory floor or a slippery kitchen surface. The analogy might sound humorous, but it's rooted in serious robotics engineering. The same balance control system that lets Optimus absorb a push from a human can prevent accidents when it carries heavy objects or walks on uneven ground. Observers have drawn comparisons between this demonstration and Boston Dynamics Atlas, which famously performed parkour routines. However, Tesla's approach differs fundamentally. Where Atlas relies heavily on pre-programmed motion paths and external computing assistance, Optimus executes all decision-making internally. The Kung Fu demo wasn't choreographed, it was reactive. Every movement came from real-time sensory feedback and onboard neural inference running on Tesla's FSD-grade computer, consuming only 100 watts. The implications of this achievement stretch far beyond martial arts theatrics. By mastering human-like balance and reflexes, Optimus is moving closer to the kind of general-purpose mobility that could revolutionize human labor. Imagine a robot that can not only carry groceries or fold laundry, but also help stabilize an injured person, hold them steady, or assist in physical therapy with millimeter-level precision. Tesla is not confirmed when this upgraded Optimus model, unofficially referred to as Optimus 5 3.5, it will enter mass production. But if the Kung Fu demonstration is any indication, the boundaries between human motion and robotic capability are disappearing faster than anyone anticipated. The day may soon come when the phrase trained like a martial artist could apply equally to a machine. And that realization, both thrilling and unsettling, signals the dawn of a new era in robotics, one where technology doesn't just imitate life but dances with it, step for step. What did Tesla actually change in Optimus robots? Stick around. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus, before we begin. 
If you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. Musk's recent remarks at the All In Summit offer more clarity, as well as greater ambition, on how Tesla envisions scaling Optimus. Musk focuses on three core pillars human level dexterity, an AI mind that can comprehend and navigate reality, and the ability to manufacture at high volumes. In doing so, Tesla must build a supply chain from scratch, vertically integrate across domains, and drive down per unit costs to tens of thousands of dollars. Musk's recent statement emphasizes three really hard things that a credible humanoid robot must combine. Manual dexterity akin to a human hand, an AI mind that can reason, sense, and act in complex real environments and high volume manufacturability. Tesla is now finalizing the design for Optimus version 3, which will more fully deliver on those three axes. Tesla believes many other robotics efforts fail because they succeed in one or two, but not all three simultaneously. In Musk's words, he is spending more mental cycles than anything else on making Optimus work in the real world, not just in the lab. The challenge is magnified because, unlike automotive supply chains, no existing supply chain for humanoid robots exists. Tesla must build it from the ground up, vertically integrating many core technologies such as actuators, sensors, computing, materials, motors, and power systems, rather than relying on third-party suppliers. That combination of novelty and scale is what makes the project so audacious. Musk suggests that only the Starship rocket rivaled it in difficulty, and that a fully successful Optimus could become Tesla's largest product line. According to news reports, if Tesla hits sufficient scale, the cost per unit might fall to $20,000 to $25,000. Some earlier commentary had floated an even more optimistic figure of $15,000 per robot, though that remains speculative. The fact that cost targets have moved or at least are reported differently underscores the uncertainty and the engineering risk. Some public commentary claims that Tesla's first versions have a bill of materials estimated at $10,000 before factoring in manufacturing, assembly, overhead, and margin. But those early versions may never see a broad market. They may be internal or demonstration units used to validate subsystems and drive iteration. The idea is that by Generation 3, with mature scale, automated factories, and vertically integrated supply chains, Tesla may be able to push down costs to tens of thousands per unit rather than hundreds of thousands. Tesla's existing AI and robotics page describes Optimus as a bipedal, autonomous humanoid designed to carry out unsafe, repetitive, or boring tasks. But the devil is in the details. What autonomous means for a robot interacting with human environments is far more complex than autonomy in cars. It means perceiving, manipulating, balancing, adapting to new settings, understanding instructions, and integrating with external systems. What's the big change since the first gen of Optimus? While Tesla hasn't publicly revealed all the specifications for version 3 yet, available published reports shed light on previous generations and hints for the future. Tesla's Gen 2. Optimus brought several improvements over Gen 1. Weight reduction on the order of 22 pounds to boost agility, walking speed increases, more capable hands with more degrees of freedom, a neck with two degrees of freedom, integrated actuators, foot force or torque sensing, and articulated toe sections for better balance. In that public narrative, Genesis 2 reportedly has 11 degrees of freedom overall and improved motor control enabling it to perform tasks like squats, yoga positions, dancing, and even handling an egg. One claim is that the hands for Gen 2 had 11 degrees of freedom, effectively doubling what Gen 1 could do. That suggests Tesla is pushing more complexity into the manipulation side. The goal is for the next iteration, version 3, to more fully match or exceed human hand dexterity including grasping, pinch, articulation under load, fine motion, and tactile feedback. Another public hint is that Tesla intends Gen 3 to trim some weight further and integrate improved actuators, sensors, and controllers. But Tesla has not yet revealed many quantitative details about Gen 3. For example, ranges of torque, joint speed, sensor bandwidth, battery capacity, or compute power. 
Some speculative estimates suggest that an Optimus robot might use a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack and consume approximately 100 watts idle, approximately 500 watts under intensive use. Additionally, Elon Musk has admitted that Tesla is only struggling because the hand design isn't perfect yet, but the demonstrations have shown that the company has bigger goals than just perfecting the hand. That underscores how hard manipulation is. The interplay of mechanical structure, actuators, sensors, control, software, and materials must produce both strength, precision, compliance, durability. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.